Let's check out the whiskey cocktail. Not whiskey with an H, but whiskey with two E's. Welcome to the Cocktail Spirit from Small Screen Network. I'm your host, Robert Hess. Now, in many of my shows, I focus on old drinks. This time, we're going to try a new drink called the Whiskey Cocktail. It was invented by a good friend of mine, David Wondrich. Let's take a look at it. Now, David made this drink out of you know, necessity. He was planning uh, several years ago to take and go to a Halloween party and take a pre-mixed Manhattan with him. Uh, and fortunately, his liquor cabinet was running sparse on his ingredients, so instead he cobbled this together with what he had on hand. Um, he started off with Irish whiskey. Now, there really aren't that many drinks, unfortunately, that use Irish whiskey, so it's always good to take and find another one. Uh, we're going to do two ounces of Irish whiskey. Many feel that uh, Irish whiskey was one of the first distilled products that was being sold as a spirit that people would drink. Other people think that Scotch whiskey uh, was the first one. Um, I tend to believe Irish, but it really doesn't matter because both of them are very good. Next, we're going to add an ounce of Lillet. Lillet is kind of like a vermouth, uh, but a little bit different. It's got uh, quinine in it, which adds an interesting kind of a bittery note to it. Uh, so it's not quite as botanical as a dry vermouth might be, but I think it works really good in drinks like this. Then we're going to add a quarter of ounce of Cointreau. Now, an interesting thing about uh, David Wondrich, um, he's a good friend of mine and the author of Imbibe, um, a book about the cocktails from the Jerry Thomas era. Uh, so he's very much a researcher into old drinks. So I think it's quite fitting that in a show that normally I do old drinks, I'm showing a new drink, but by a guy that um, is famous for the old drink style. And then we're going to add two dashes of orange bitters. Orange bitters from the, from the Bitter Truth. Um, it's wonderful to have a nice collection of bitters available to us, um, especially so we can recreate many of the drinks from the old books. You will see bitters more than just Angostura used quite often. Uh, orange bitters are extremely popular. Periodically, you'll see celery bitters used, as well as you see things like Boker's bitters, which conceptually we really don't quite understand what exactly would have tasted like because it went out of production many years ago. But we have people like the Bitter Truth trying to reproduce things like that, like with their Jerry Thomas bitters. Now let's add our ice. And strain that into our cocktail glass. So the, the whiskey cocktail, again, being an Irish whiskey-based drink, and used a fair amount of it, um, should have a nice kind of hefty, spirit-forward flavor to it. But then the sweetness from the Cointreau and the Lay are both going to take and blend that out really well. In the aroma, I'm smelling a lot of the Lillet florals coming through with a bit of a sweetness in the background. Well, that's marvelous. I mean, uh, you're, you're getting that nice, grainy spirit from the Irish whiskey that's coming in and adding that supporting characteristic throughout the drink. But then the flavors that are coming out are the Lillet and the Cointreau uh, with the orange bitters being a nice little spice in the background. Um, Dave was trying to make something like a Manhattan. This is, this is not a Manhattan style drink. It doesn't have that robust rye or bourbon flavor to it. Uh, but it definitely is an interesting take on that style uh, from an Irish whiskey standpoint. So if you're looking for a new Irish whiskey drink, I recommend you try the whiskey cocktail made by David Wondrich. Mm -hmm.